Oh, Xenoblade? One day, Pyra just disappeared. Is this some DLC or something? Or is this getting put on? Is this on the Switch? Or are they putting this on the Switch or something? Also, why is the quality kind of shitty? Of 1080p. Without a trace. Where have you gone? I'll find you, whatever it takes. This is where you were. Pyra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because I got an invitation to join What? That's crazy. Really? What? Oh, what a twist. I was not expect I was not expecting that. That's crazy. That's cool. I mean, I'm not totally excited about this, but that's what's up. Another sword user. I don't think anybody was expecting this. And that's fine. I'm cool with it. She looks she looks cool. I've never played Xenoblade, so I have no idea. Ooh! Neat! Mithra. Okay. Mithra! Cutting it close, huh? Hey, uh, were these guys planning on me? Gee, I feel kind of bad now. Coming through! Lightning! Buster! Fuzane! Ray of punishment! Throw with us! Okay, it's a counter. You can even use that. Oh, that's tough. Oh! So she's like the new Sheik. The new Sheik in Zelda. Gotcha. Quite the spectacle, aren't they? I mean, I'm, I'm cool with this. I have no problems whatsoever. Oh, that's the stage? Okay, so Rex is in the final smash. I mean, for real, I really don't have an issue with this. Shulk! Expected to see you two again. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you. Ooh, fighting words. You forget. We're fighters too. That's pretty cool. I do not mind at all. Hello everyone, it's been a while. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Hello. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. Yeah, it's been about a year. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. I'm cool with that Smash character. I'm actually use her. She looks cool. We appreciate your continued support. Okay, 
What you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This fighter releases in March, so we okay. hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. What is this? Oh, Fall Guys? Let's come in the Switch. I mean, I'm not surprised. But didn't this game kind of low-key like fall off? Do people still play this? You know this game trailer? Oh. Stumble toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch this system. This summer. This, this guy really popular during the quarantine. You have 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. What is this? Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. You have 22 minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. Hmm. By repeating these cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? One thousand percent uninterested in this. In an endless time loop. Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. Next, Next one. Come on. Give me some good. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. What is this? Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind, two deep cuts from Nintendo history, are coming to North America for the first time. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, drama, and twists and turns await at every corner. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. Okay. But that's not the only case to crack. Hear a voice behind you, turn around, and... In the other game, you'll investigate a supernatural <clears throat> rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister oh, nightmare. Oh, I forgot this was on the back Interrogate of the chair. suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. <laughs> Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? The culprit is me, I did it. Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Okay. Orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. A new age of battles begins. Okay, so are these a bunch of uh, like indie games or what? This is a Dynasty Warriors. I think so. No Bunaga Oda. I'm never gonna try to pronounce that one. Samurai Warriors. The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. 
Unleash high octane moves in electrifying one versus one thousand battles. In ah, Samurai that's cool. Warriors Five, slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch, summer twenty twenty one. All right, come on, still, still light work, still light work. Ah, the vast what is world this? of Fadiel beckons. After twenty long years, Legend of Mana, featuring remastered HD graphics, is coming to Nintendo Switch. People really do like these games, so whatever. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. So far, this is extremely underwhelming. Please don't be disappointing. Is empty. I know it just started. We got 50 minutes, but come items on. Called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Square up, goods. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features That's have cool. been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch June 24th. Oh, I know Square Enix made that. Monster Hunter? It's gotta be Monster Hunter. Yep. Another Capcom rep has not made it into Smash Bros. I mean, it looks cool. <sighs> the villagers 50 years ago Kamura village was attacked by the rampage of Magnum Malo, and we suffered some devastating casualties how can we fight against that our hunter is about to face the biggest challenge go, yet go. No! we can't lose this game pull yourselves together you're not getting in let's go That's dope. Here it comes! Watch out for the apex! Do not let it pass! That looks terrifying. The rampage. How long do you think it's going to last? Monster Hunter Rise. Okay. Inoa, we should start preparations right away. Isn't that coming out like soon? Yeah, soon. Ah, oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, that's all. Awesome. Yeah, that's dope. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Next, please take a look at this. Come on, something. Mario Golf, really? Oh, okay. Way is open once again. I like Mario Golf. Installment of the Mario Golf series coming to Nintendo Switch. Mario Study Golf Super wind Rush. And terrain. Take your time to think things through, then swing. 
Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom Ah, oh, so close to of Super Sluggers, though, man. Lush, natural scenery. Ah, oh, I wish it was the baseball game. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can yeah, also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game, letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf, oh, snap. including this one, Speed Golf. Speed Golf? Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. <laughs> I kind of like that. That's dope. Get closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. <laughs> Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention story mode? As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then, allocate points to different stats, allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You Not bad. People, some people should be really happy play. about this. Put your golfing skills to the test. June 25th. Everything is coming out during the summer. Swings on to Nintendo Switch June 25th. Okay. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop after this presentation. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy-to-learn controls. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Come on. Some, something else. Check uh. out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the I Hyperion Lackey Reese. something big. Liquided con artist Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch, March 24th. 32 of Capcom's most beloved arcade classics are coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, Rewind cool. gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free, then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local no. co-op play is also available. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches Strider. Late Brains. As a what is this? You just can't get enough of it. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. This what city ain't no hell? match for a dead man. Stubbs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. It's Travis Ooh. Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? Okay. Aliens have no more heroes. Earth. Hold up. Is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass, beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their tactics carefully what to gain the, the hell? in combat. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to kick some, uh whatever aliens have that you can kick 
Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, Damn. Nintendo Switch, August 27th. They've been working on that game for a while. Exterminate demons in he heaven. As above, so below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty They low-key look like a spotter from Bleach. Yeah, not interested in the slightest. Kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. A first person God's judgment action shooter that involves cards. Yeah, I'm a, I'm so okay. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. Okay, so... The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Come on! Hey, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. AKA Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and bat. What's up, Giorgio? You straight, man. You didn't miss anything. You missed a Smash character reveal, but that was about it. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bubba I don't know if you want Katana, me to spoil it for you, but to keep our city yeah. Safe. First but thing they showed off was a Smash character right. getting revealed, and, and that's pretty much been it. Everything else has been kind of meh. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, yeah, she's, she's from um Xenoblade. She looks cool, so I'm not I'm not really mad. Hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I what the hell is this? Later. Uh oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. Come on. Just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC Superhero Girls Team Power heroically sourced okay. to Nintendo Switch June 4th. Nah, looks trash. All right, come on. Some good. Ready what is this? And prepare for battle. What is this? Oh, Plants vs. Zombies. People really like th these games, so I mean, I'm not going to say much about it, but Jesus. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I use this one for uh, events. I'm just so uninterested in these type of games. Alright, come on, Nintendo. Like, where is the big stuff? Give me something big. Who will join you in your adventure? Hint, anyone can. <sighs> Band together on a quest to face evil So far, this has been like 20 faces. minutes of just bullshit. Yes, Trillin, it does Switch. not look fun at all. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Like, what the Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Yes, you got that right. Something for everyone. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your mies and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. <sighs> In the world of Metopia, relationships are key. 
so consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen Yeah, bonds. and they already wasted like 20 minutes. This can give you an advantage during battle. It's only 50 minutes, and they already wasted that much time. If your relationship's sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Oh. Trailing. Oh my Whoa. gosh, those pictures look wild. That they look so dope. Good. Care for it. Looks like a screensaver. Or poof in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp Metopia. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 21st. Pre orders begin today. Look, they on look Nintendo dope. E -shop. All right, come on. Something. Something. Give me something. Something else. Zelda related. Super <laughs> items are coming to your island. Well, Traylon, you play Animal Crossing, so. Super you know. Mario Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in game as furniture items. <laughs> so place them however and wherever you'd like. You can also place two warp pipes. Oh, that's cool. Then use them to travel between locations on your island. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? A free update for the game launches February 25th. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Yeah, that, okay. For the Keep people that like Animal Crossing, that's Animal Crossing, that's Crossing dope. Twitter account for the latest information. Not for me, but hey. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. How was that? These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, last week, Super we popular. had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World okay. plus Bowser's Fury yep, game. Yep, was just playing this. We hope you enjoyed that Mario adventure as well. Next, we have another game to show you. Okay. Was that a segue? What is this? What is this? You should try playing it again, Traylon. Is this some Fire Emblem crap again? answer for its crimes today are these the wages of loyalty raised earth and burnt corpses you and no other must decide how we proceed i guess this is a like an R, uh, jrpg which is fine leader, and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest together with these fields today you burn i promise to do all mm -hmm. in my power to see us through this safely every last one of us yeah, I like RPGs too. It's, it, they have to be very specific far, though for me. Far away lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. Though the hostilities ceased, <laughs> I feel like it's a little forced, but okay. Decades later, the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remains. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? In this turn base, right? RPG, oh, it's tactical. With different elevations, a character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. Okay. The range can be extended by attacking from higher ground with long range weapons such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. An enemy outflanked is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? 
charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. Right, so you just gotta be you gotta be kinda smart on how you move your characters, I guess. Magic on the flames I've played a few tactical ones before. Then electrify it be fun. the area with lightning magic. It is of the utmost importance to survey the battlefield before taking action. Mm. Throughout okay. the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Once more, I would ask you plainly, do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations. Yeah, are that is a that is a nice uh, of conviction. Use information you've gathered a nice to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. Yeah, that's dope. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced. As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix, will launch in 2022. Please be on the lookout for more okay, information. Okay, Square has been in working. The after this presentation, a demo version of this game will be available to download on Nintendo eShop. Already? And in the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward to hearing your responses on the demo. Please look forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG. Ah, Square Enix. it's not looking good. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Come on. You got like calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? Uh, what is this? Still some Star Wars stuff, okay. They did. So this has been going on for like 32 minutes. Star Wars hunters. Great Star trailer. Wars Hunters is a competitive free-to-play online game set between episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. All right, let's do this. All right, Sal. Hmm. Do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Corgan love battle. Gorgon used many weapons. Triple-bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul-devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not what be stuck the up in some tower this? waiting for a hero. My line of work? Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass! <laughs> Look, it's simple. Corgan want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. What is this? <laughs> okay, this looks more interesting. I'm not gonna lie, but what is this? One, I'm just confused on the concept. Can't believe we're losing to a bunch of dairy farmers. Okay, team. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey, can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, not a bloody fashion show. Pass to me. Uh, what? Interview's over. Oh, come on, man. One more game. 
Okay. Knockout city. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the fight for survival starts now. I need Breath of the Wild no, too. Time. Something. You're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the uh. Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. Like, give me, I need something, a new Pikmin game, uh, Z Zelda anniversary title, something. The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action Ooh, with suspenseful the narrative. I'm the one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club, venturing onto Nintendo Switch, May 28th. Okay. Wield the power oh, of the Hades. With the okay. release of Hades. That's that's cool. Hades, the critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards. I still I still want to play this. Physical release on Nintendo Switch. I'll probably play this it on PC. This version comes though. with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download <coughs> code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb. Known for his work on previous Supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32 page full color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters all by Yeah, because apparently this is a really good game. Gen I'm glad it's getting a physical and copy too. Let's not too. forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling I feel story. like this is a great game to play in handheld. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. Cool. Three deadly action oh, games. One masterful collection. Okay. All right. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. Okay. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. I'll, I'll get this. I love Ninja Gaiden. You are the legendary ninja Ryu, Ryu. Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with a different set of lethal skills. Along These with games are jutsu, hard, though. Down enemies. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. Yeah, I'm with it. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch. All right, I'm gonna have to pick that up. Cool, I'm with it. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. Okay, I have this. Still need to beat it. This is not the Zelda news that I wanted, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. But what else are they going to put in this game? It's like a prequel. Okay. Expansion pass. I mean, all right. There's even more coming to Nintendo Bro. Switch. Bravely Default 2 is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the Brave and Default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I live to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. 
the latest installment ha. the legendary ghosts and goblins series comes i probably to get life. this too As i love ghosts and goblins Arthur, you'll unleash weapons spells and skills to battle monsters across right. challenging stages within the demon realm local co-op play is also available for the first time help arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters barry for defense carry for transportation or archie for bridges i'm raging Ghosts inside too bro this is ridiculous february 25th pre-orders are available now but i do i do love shop. ghosts and goblins eight protagonists eight captivating journeys saga frontier has been remastered for nintendo switch travel through a stunning sci-fi uh. world of the protagonists each with their own stories with the addition of the playable protagonist fuse new gameplay features exhilarating battles and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the oh, Nintendo Oh, I forgot Switch about system. Apex. This free-to-play battle royale features a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players yeah, I see. Can get an all -new but legendary but you know what it is? I wonder if they're holding on to all of the big stuff since E3 is happening Plus, this summer. For the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. How's it going so far? Not great. There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct. So Come we on. hope you'll stick with us. Next, please take a look at this. Please, something, something good, something that'll get me hype, something that'll make me scream. Hello there, I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of The Legend of Zelda oh. series. Ho! Oh. Ho! I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take oh, a look. What's coming to Nintendo Switch? God damn it. Wait, what is this? Skyward Sword! Okay, I called this. I called this. I called this. Okay. All right, yo, I will take this. I will take this. I will take it. Because I feel like this game is low-key underrated i will take it i called this yep i will take it HD. Okay. That I will take. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as right. a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the Sword and the Shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. So I have to use the Joy-Cons? You Please say no, I don't have to use them. Like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls yes. to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Oh, that's going to be a little weird, but I'll take it. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. I don't know how that would work, else but whatever. Oh! Joy-Con controllers. 
The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian Shield mode. Gonna have to get it. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time, will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. July, the Legend I will of Zelda take it. Skyward Sword I will HD take it. launches I called July it. 16th. I called Following it. this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you cool. may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Uh, oh, no, I know. following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Using the sail cloth the stamina to set in the midair, yeah. a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. All right. Well, what did you think? Not bad. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. Huh, oh, please let it go out with a bang. Please, something, something. What is this? Not actual gameplay footage. What is this? This does this look stupid already. Splatoon? A new Splatoon? Or an add on to Splatoon 2? What is going on? No, Larry, this direct sucked. They did announce a new Smash character, but I mean, she's from Xenoblade. I'm not too familiar with it, but I mean, she looks cool. I'll, I'll try to play with her. And they announced Skyward Sword HD, so I mean, that was cool. But what is this? This is Platoon of some kind, but this is the third installment? Like, what is this? Oh, this has to be a third one. I don't see why they would make such a big fuss over an add-on. Yeah, Splatoon 3. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Hey, all right. I'll take it. I like Splatoon. I mean, because I feel like it doesn't take much to make these games. Especially when it's on the same console. 2022, yeah, I knew that was, yeah, okay.
What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. Yep. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. But why announce that now? Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. You know what? I don't know. I have no idea why I'm surprised because they specifically said in their tweet that they are talking about like upcoming Nintendo Switch games that are going to release soon and stuff that's already out. Like they they said it, but just like everybody else, I still had some expectations. I mean, I I don't know. But the biggest takes from this presentation was the smash the new smash character i mean she looks dope i mean she looks cool in my opinion i'll play with her um she's from, from xenoblade i forgot her name already but um yeah she looks cool monster hunter and eh, and um zelda that's it zelda skyward sword hd so i'll say two and a half announcements that were that were like a big deal in my opinion, two and a half. I this was extremely underwhelming. Um, a tiny, a tiny bit uh, disappointed, but uh, you know, whatever. What what are we gonna do? I will take what I can get. Um, yeah, I I I, I don't know. I'll take what I can get, but extremely underwhelming. <sighs> they they. <sighs> Honestly, they should have just waited until E3, in my opinion. Well, then again, they couldn't because some stuff is coming out, like, next month. But still. Yeah, I agree. At least they gave us something to talk about. But, wow, that was... Man, my expectations were through the roof. But, again, not Nintendo's fault. It's my fault. Still. Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off for now. I might come back later tonight, probably play some Call of Duty. I am not sure, but if not, I will most definitely be back tomorrow since I missed a couple of days. I, f I just thought I would stream tomorrow. So if I don't come back tonight, I will be back tomorrow. So with that being said, I am out. I will be posting this entire thing onto YouTube. So, yeah. All right. With that being said, I'm out. Peace. Thank you for everybody to, uh, that came in here also. Giorgio, appreciate you. Larry, Traylon, anybody else who came in here, appreciate y'all. Peace.